Hello, welcome to the fourth in a series of tutorials titled Wikidot 101. Today I'd like to speak about simple tables. There are two main types of tables available in Wikidot. There are simple tables, which I'll be going through today, and um, for lack of a better name, advanced tables, which I will not be covering yet because they are um, slightly more complicated and probably better suited for a separate video. Now, simple tables, I will create a page called tables here. This is back on the tutorial wiki again, which you can access with tute01.wikidot.com. Okay. Now I believe, before I do anything here, okay, yeah. So if you have these buttons here, you can use this to remember some of the syntax, for example, um, headers and bold text and italics, that kind of thing. It looks like um, tables are in here as well, because I don't usually use these buttons, I just remember it. But just say you have three rows and three columns, and you want the first one as a header. Or I'll, yeah, I'll do that first. Now you, what you've seen there is you've got three rows, three columns. Imagine these double lines as um, a line in the table. You'll see what I mean in a moment. And this squiggly line here, the tilde, uh, that means that it's the header. So if I preview this, you can see that I have three headers up the top, three headers up the top, and cell content down in two other rows. And there's three columns there, three columns there. Now if I wanted to remove this one as a header and say put this one as a header instead, you'll see that see the difference. And now this one's back to the normal appearance of the other cells, and this one has the different background and the bold text. Now this is dependent on the theme that you're using. For this particular theme which comes with the default template we started with, this is what tables look like. Now the important thing to note is that this tilde must go right there alongside the double lines. If I was to put it here, if I was to leave a space there, it will not work. And actually thinks that it's text. So if you want a tilde in your as a first thing in your cell, table cell, then you put a space there. But if you want it to denote to say that you want a header there, then you put it right alongside that. So just say I have what can we have at the table? We can have um, people, age, location. My name is Shane, so there's someone else called Bob. My age is currently 23. Bob could be, I don't know, 28. Location, Australia. Location, United States. And as you can see, with these double lines, you can kind of view what the table is going to look like before you actually preview or save the page, which is the massive, massive benefit for simple tables. You can kind of see what it's going to end up with. If I preview this, now compare that to that, you can see people, age, location, and headers, the list of people, the ages, and the location. Now, if I wanted to merge some of those, Okay, we'll go, we'll go with people, ignore my um, spelling for favourite and colours if you are not in a um, European speaking country, I know the US spells it without the U's, but that's how I spell it, so we'll go with Shane and Bob again, for lack of a better idea. And just say I have my colours as blue, red, green. And that is black, yellow, purple. If I preview this, you'll see that the cell width has expanded to fit everything in there because it's longer text. But if I wanted to do something else, bear with me, I'm just fitting in some random values. 
and we'll do an unknown for the sake of it. And just to ignore, conf prevent confusion, I'll remove that. Okay, so people, and where, which one is like red? I do, Bob doesn't. Green, I like it, Bob doesn't. Um, blue, I don't like blue, we'll just say. Um, it's not actually true, but we'll go with that. And Bob, we don't know yet, we need to ask him or something. Now, we don't know what they are. We, they could be, they could just be, I don't know, blue cars, they could be blue books, they could be anything. So what we need to do is put another title ahead of that. We can move people up here. Uh, we'll say favorite colored cars. We'll call it that. Now you can see what the problem is here in a minute. If I just delete this one because we don't want that there. Now the problem here is that that is over red only. We want it to go over red, blue, and green at the same time. To do this, you put the extra bars in. So we're starting here. We've got one, two extra bars. So we put that's one set, and that's the second set. What that tells us is that this word here, this phrase, needs to go over all three cells. Slightly complicated, but if you do it for a little bit, you'll get the hang of it pretty fast. And now you can see that we've got favorite green color, favorite colored cars over the top of that. So now we know exactly what the red, green, and blue is talking about. It's talking about colored cars. And just for, to make it look decent, we'll put that as a header color, even with no actual text in there. Now that's the same colour. Uh, that's it for today's tutorial. If you have any questions, ask in the YouTube comments. Um, yeah, that's it for now. Hope you learnt something.